Welcome to the Jamodi Podcast, where we interview coaches and leaders to find out not just what they do, but how they do what they do. Becoming the best version of ourselves is Jamodi, just a matter of doing it. If you could, if you're talking with a, a, a shooter and maybe at any age and you trying to build them a daily routine of, of what, what, what does a day of, for a great shooter look like? They walk into the gym, what are some things that they start with, move to? What's that, what's that look like for you? Uh, I think it's probably going to be uh, different for each person, but, mm -hmm. but there'll be, there'll be some general similarities. And so the first thing that I want to do is understand that the first couple of shots and maybe even like the first couple dozen shots that you shoot, your body probably isn't going to feel right. Like Hussein Bolt doesn't get out of bed, put his feet on the ground and sprint to the, uh, to the sink to brush his teeth. He probably does the same sort of thing that we all do where he kind of stretches because their body doesn't feel right. It's just woken mm -hmm. up. And, and the first time we're, we're in the gym, we're going through that same sort of thing in a shooting slash basketball uh, environment. And so kind of give, give your body the stretches that we do when unconsciously when we're waking up by putting the body in the correct position as deliberately as we can. Uh, or as deliberately as we need to early on in the day. So be deliberate from close in about uh, about the habits that you know you need to execute to shoot the ball well. Don't don't hope that it happens. Mm. Force it to happen. Like I need to get my elbow in. I need to get my guide hand off the basketball. Perfect. That that's your thought process. And then okay, my elbow is in. My guide hand is off the the, the basketball. I and right from the beginning of the day, you're reminding your body of the habits that that it needs to to have and then being willing to stay close in early because you're not just warming up your body you're warming up your confidence as well uh. and so many players they go and they uh, you see young kids do this all the time they they do a heat check on their first shot <laughs> and, and shoot a three to see if they're hot that day and and very rarely are they uh but take that idea and say let's see if i'm hot today but i'm going to be sneaky and i'm going to force myself i'm going to stack the odds in my favor that i'm going to be hot by shooting an easy shot early like make 95 percent of your first 20 shots and see what that does yeah. when you stack dozens of days like that in a row and you start to go man i'm on fire again That's today. Right. Not, be, not because you're actually on fire just because you've chosen to shoot e easy shots early on and then the last thing that I'd, I'd say is you got to know what shots you get and mm. practice those situations like don't just shoot shots from wherever you got the ball when you're grabbing your own rebound think take a take an extra second and think okay i get a lot of corner threes off a of baseline drift what should i practice maybe corner threes on a baseline drift Hey, we run a play for me where I get to, like a little curl off a pin down. What should I practice? Maybe a curl off a pin down. And and if you know that you get the same shots uh, often, then practice them in in your warm up and incorporate that early on in the uh, early on in the day. Like do practice the things you actually do a lot. Yeah, I think I think one of the biggest issues younger players have going into the gym is their mentality is I'm just going to get shots up. And, and, one, and when we, we meet as a team and talk about our weekend and what we're going to do, if a player says that, they almost catch themselves because in our program, like we, we want to work hard, but we want to work smart right. and we want to have a plan. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's just taking that extra second to, to have that plan. It doesn't take a lot of energy and it doesn't take a lot of effort it's just, okay, in this drill, what, what's the situ? I always talk about the situation and the habit. In a great drill, you should know both. So it's not just I'm drifting to the baseline and I'm shooting. That's the situation. The habit is I'm drifting to the baseline. I'm going to try and land with wide feet into my shot. And then I'm going to try and land with wide feet at the end of my shot. Those are the habits that you're working on. And when you know both the situation and the habit, then you're off to the races. And you haven't done that much more, uh, expended that much more energy or that much more thought. You've just asked one more question. 
Well, one part of this just popped in my head to, to ask you is about vision. And you, you hear multiple things of, of what to look for, what to focus on, even all the way down to one of the little W's up at the rim. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if you're, you're, you're talking with a shooter, uh, what is their actual target? What do they focus on? I always encourage players to, to find the long target, and, but something physical and then incorporate the idea of uh, aim small, miss big. So uh, the little coils that you're talking about, the little W where the net attaches to the rim, I encourage players, find the one that's farthest away from you, in mm -hmm. the middle of the back of the uh, the rim, and try and lock in on that. There are two reasons why. Number one, I, I pick the long target because we know we're going to get tired. And so I don't want to pick the short target and get come up short of the short target as I get tired. I want to pick the long target and come up short where I, I still have uh, some wiggle room to get a make. And then the second part is I want to make sure we have something tangible. And our, our eyes are constantly judging distance. And if they're not looking at something physical, it's much harder to judge the distance of air. Mm. And so if you're looking at that middle, like the middle of the cylinder where you have room to miss in all directions, Good idea, but your eyes can't fix, can't judge the distance of nothing. So mm. try and pick something physical. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.